So, took me a while to record again. Uh, didn't have much time to play, but uh, I made some significant updates uh, to the build, which I'm gonna. You can probably already see that there's a new shield, which solved the uh, reservation issue or the, the, the energy shield mana issues with Eldritch Battery. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the upgrades um, that I'm crafting in a second, but I'm gonna do a quick map showcase first. I'm gonna put Essence on it and a Scarab in. I'm usually running Stream of Consciousness, but um, I'm gonna put some Expedition because I feel like people like Expedition, so uh, we're gonna have a look at that. Um, other than that, I'm spec'd mostly. I'm not spec'd into Expedition right now. Um, I hope it's still kind of nice to see because people like it, but um, I'm mostly spec'd into random things right now for challenges. And I hope we're gonna see uh, one of the bigger Essences, yeah. So as said, I can activate no malevolence and I still have uh, energy shield left, so that's kind of cool. Um, there's like a tiny essence. I'm not gonna full clear here. I mean, we can do the tiny one as well, but that's not what we want to see, right? Oh god, I did a weird thing. Oh god, okay, I'm not gonna loot this now. Let's do the boss real quick, even though he's annoying, like it's, it's a terrible boss. Especially for the build, because he's like running away all the time. But yeah, still kind of melts. Um, map itself, I don't know if I just showed the map, but um, it's nothing too dangerous. Just a normally corrupted map with some tiny modifiers on it. I don't even know what this is. Nice. I'm uh, not going to do the full one here. I'm just going to look for one example. Oh, there's actually a boss. I'm definitely going to do the boss. <laughs> I hope the boss goes well. I have no idea. It's like my fourth boss, harvest boss so far, and I still haven't found the, the interesting thing. We can stand in these toxic things, that's fine. Um, he's actually hurting a lot. God damn it. Why? He's also very tanky. Is that a telegraph attack? He's doing something. Almost no experience with harvest bosses, to be fair. Is he dying? Am I doing this correctly? I have no idea. Okay, let's pull some... Okay, he's already dead. Okay, he dropped a belt. And he still didn't... I have no idea if this um, drops what I'm looking for. Like this Heart of the Grove thing. I think I need to do Harvest Bosses to do this. Yeah, let's do a normal patch. Just to see how this is. I just put my traps. I make use of Withering Stamp. Until the big thing appears. Now it has Withering Stamp on it. So I can put some more traps down. And then just wait for it to die. Um, overall, the build feels super smooth right now. Uh, I'm easily able to level up. I'm 95 right now. Uh, let's see. I mean, it's not immortal. You still die to damage over time stuff. You can die to it. Um, but resistances are really good. Overall, defense is really good. Let's kill some more stuff and then we're gonna talk about uh, changes I made. Can I open this again or what just happened? Oh, I did! Nice. Really nice. Oh, the expedition, too. I wanted to show an expedition and how that looks. Uh, only thing I can do here is basically the um, immune to chaos damage thing, obviously, since we're poisoned. So I don't see one, so we're just gonna try and make this a bit bigger. But I'm not specced into it, so it's not gonna be a very big expedition, I believe. Let's see if we can find some more monster markers. Yeah, almost none here. It's probably not gonna be that big. So yeah. Here just throw some seismics. Um, I think one of the big issues you can have with this build um, in general is like overkilling. That you throw all your traps or way too many and you wait next to the monsters way too much for them to die even though um, they're already dead. Especially like a single seismic. It, it takes for a while. Um, it's very delayed damage. So yeah. I'm not gonna loot this right now. Let's do the circle. But I think you get an idea of how it works and how it feels. Um, it's still kind of kind of fast, not, not a zoomy zoomy thing. It's still a slow essence. I never get big essences whenever I do record. <laughs> I don't know what's the issue with this. So you almost made a circle. Like here, I just threw one trap. I could just go uh, and run. They will die. Um, it's something you need to get used to a bit. So you don't overkill all the time, but you also don't underkill. 
So yeah, it's something to get used to a bit. So much about that. So yeah, that's map showcase, I think. Hope that's somewhat representative um, to that. Um, four updates. First of all, this shield here. Um, I did see it in a different video form, a completely different build, but I immediately realized that it's actually perfect. Um, obviously a rare shield would overall be better, but this one just immediately solves all the energy shield issues. Just I, I only need energy shield now on the helmet and the shield and it's done. I have way too much energy shield, I have more than I need. It has uh, increased duration of elements, which is really, really cool, it has some life some blocking, like pretty high block chance, even some spell suppression. But it also means that we need to solve spell suppression a bit differently. So what I did with that is um, I changed the tree a bit. Like I got rid of this, these parts here, which are not necessary. Cuts a bit into life, but we're softcore anyway. So um, I just got these nodes here. So in combination of these nodes and having the shield, um, I only have spell suppression here now and here. And I don't think I have, I have them here. So it's basically just a chest. It's the gloves with double spell suppression. And that's it. I'm actually capped. And I don't have the 10% node, the weird one. Uh, where is it? I don't have this, this node at full life. Can't find it. Where's that node? Oh, here it is. Like this one. That sometimes that fools you. You think you have 100% spell suppression, but you don't. Uh, because it's only if you're on, on full life. So... That's essentially how spell suppression is uh, done. Um, so now also this um, ring here doesn't feel that bad anymore. I still have enough energy shield. I also crafted a chest piece myself, uh, which I'm pretty happy with. Um, issue is it was really expensive and not the way to go uh, because I didn't realize that this um, mod here, the veiled mod that actually is crafted on it now cannot be unveiled. I believe it cannot be unveiled uh, by as Asling Slames because it's a it's like a signature mod or whatever. So I try to unveil this a few times. So this, this chest is really expensive, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, gonna come out with a crafting video in a while, I think, for um, more reasonable crafts and to get a basic character going. But that's the chest we have now. It got some spell block now for, for no reason. Um, uh, made some gloves or bought them, I forgot. I think I made the gloves and bought the other things um, because it was way cheaper. Um, here again, um, got all my Eldritch and Searing Exarch, at least the basic modifier is done, so that's kind of cool. Uh, I bought this belt because it was easier to buy, and I think I bought also these boots because they were also way cheaper than making them myself. So got all of that kind of done and kind of nice. Um, part of the reason why this gear is a bit weird and has so much resistance is that I didn't want have to have any resistance on ring or amulet, so I can put them into the new leg crangle machine. So, uh, yeah, you could just not do that and have some resistance here. So uh, the idea is to have a amulet like this and get it into the crangler, maybe with the damage over time multi, int and life, something like that, even though we don't need the int anymore. So I I'm unsure about the amulet yet. Um, but the rings, for sure. I uh, downscaled my rings and uh, to have the to make sure they have um, the chaos resistance is not needed here by the way um, it's life curse on hit this is still a weak one and minimum endurance charges so that's kind of the idea I, I want to put this into the Krangler and have like these three like endurance charge curse on hit and life and have them all doubled and two other things that I don't really need uh, to be negative so that's kind of the idea it's one of the projects that's why i don't have any resistance on these um, which makes gearing a bit more complicated or unnecessarily complicated you could just not do that and ignore that it's going to be gone in the next league anyway so yeah so that's kind of um how the gear looks now and overall i would say i'm going to put a pub into the description i feel like the gearing is kind of done Obviously, there can be details added, and there's a lot of damage to gain still. But from a standpoint now, I feel like the build feels very complete, very smooth, and, and, and very easy right now. Um, I'm doing challenges right now. I still have to kill some Ubers and, and things like that. But for that, I want to level up first a bit. <laughs> I don't want to go for like uh, fancy bosses, um, because I might die there, because I'm also not that good at the game, like controlling it. So I might die. I, I rather level up first. Uh, do some challenges and then tackle endgame bosses a bit later. Um, in terms of stats, 
It looks now we, we are spell suppression capped. We have a decent amount of evasion and armor. Could be better, but it's fine. Um, I, I think it's good enough, especially for softcore. I don't have issues with that, really. Uh, spell suppression done. Uh, quite a lot of fire res. It's like 80. We have 79 of the other two resistance. We are even one more chaos resistance over capped. And also interesting enough, um, with chaos res, tier 1 res on... Um, on your chest and this ring, we are already chaos res capped, over capped. So this implicit on the ring here is completely useless. Uh, we have some, um, how's it called? Some some chance to block 30%, 10% spell block. So uh, that's pretty fine. Uh, ignite, chill, freeze, shock avoidance. That's all all taken care of. So it feels really, really good, I have to say. Um, for now, for mapping, general or purpose gameplay, pretty nice. Also, what's really cool is the only stats we need on gear is intelligence, and it's not even that much we actually need. Uh, I don't actually know what the maximum is. We, I think we need 179, and we're completely over right now already. And all the strength, all the dex comes from the tree, so you don't need any of, the, of these stats, which is kind of cool. So, yeah, that's how the character looks right now. I said I'm doing challenges. Uh, in case somebody cares, we are around 20. There are some small ones I can still do. I'm working on Abyss right now. Got um, the, this one already done. This one was really easy. It was a winged, scarab, winged Abyss Scarab and putting it on a map device on Dunes. Dunes is a great map for that. So I'm working on this right now. Um, still don't have... I, I don't have the Art of the Grove. I just can't find it. <laughs> I don't know how that works. Um, so yeah, I'm working on the lake things. Um, I'm also working towards... This one here with the corrupted maps, and what I do for that is whenever I get Kirak missions, I just check the the for corrupted maps here and check if they have uh, four prefix for suffix mods um, with the corrupted ones. That's uh, quite likely in here. Um, also, there's a synthesized map, great. And whenever I can, I don't have one right now, but uh, whenever I can, I get these reroll missions. I just reroll and uh, yeah check if, if there's a new one. So that's how I casually did already 17 of these corrupted maps here, uh, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I also randomly got this one. I just did a mastermind and got this one in style achievement there. So yeah, that's how it goes right now. I'm next going to look for crangling machines. I'm gonna craft these and gonna slowly perfect um, all other stats on, on, on the build. And yeah, see where to go from there. That's it. Bye-bye.